All right, so we've got our P-tap here. We've got our wire strip, just the very end of it. So what I like to do is turn it around together so it's not it's frayed out everywhere. Unscrew this fully, put it on the wire. You'll see there's a tiny little bit of wire exposed there. I'm just gonna push it in and twist. And if you pull slightly, I wouldn't pull too hard, but just a little bit of a tug just to make sure that it's fully seated in there and that it's good. Then you're gonna be taking this side. And we're gonna be connecting it to this pin right here. It's this red wire here. If you look at this side, this is how our diagram is laid out in the instructions. So this will be pin number one all the way across. Uh, and then this would be, I believe, pin 13 is where we're connecting it. So we'll just pull that wire back a little bit, kind of get it separated from the rest of them. Then you're going to unscrew this bit. I'm just going to put it over the wire. And then we're just going to tighten it on there. Now, uh, if you just tighten it just right away, you're going to curl your wire up a bunch. It'll kind of get in the way. So I like to actually turn it the opposite way. So turn it counterclockwise. And then when I put it on there and turn it clockwise, it'll straighten itself back out. And then I'll tighten it onto the wire. And the way this works is there's a tiny little, almost needle inside of this. And it pierces the wire and makes the connection. So that way later on, if you ever need to remove it, you can. Uh, and then once you have it tightened all the way on there, kind of give it a little bit of a tug. Just make sure it's on there. And that's it. Alright guys, so I just wanted to let y'all know one quick tip. When you are using the P-Tap, sometimes they might not actually make a full connection. So it's something to look out for. Uh, we went ahead and tested this wire from the 20 pin harness. So as you can see here, we've got our purple wire right here. That's your reverse. That's the one we're tagging. And then we're checking against the ground here. So when I checked that, I was getting zero volts. We pulled it apart and we found that the P-Tap didn't make the most solid connection here. It actually went through the shielding, but not. it didn't touch the wire. It didn't go all the way through. So we're going to attempt that one more time, and then we're going to test it from there. So I'd recommend if you guys have any issues with the V-Line actually popping up on the screen to double check that reverse wire. So as you can see, we just redid the P-Tap. And then we're going to go ahead and put it back in park. Slide this back out of the way for a second. We've got our multimeter here. When we go into reverse now, we're getting 12 volts before we are getting zero. So just make sure you guys always double check that if you do have any screen recognition issues where it just comes up, shows the CD changer and says like track 25 or 30 or anything like that. Typically means the reverse wire isn't hooked up.